The public backlash on the judiciary has reared its ugly head yet again, just hours after Chief Magistrate Francis Andai gave this ruling in which he released Mbakasi East MP Babu Owino on bail. I will grant bond condition on the following. Number one, the accused person shall meet the initial medical expenses of the victim and to this end, this is going to be up to the value of Kenya shillings 10 million. This sum is equivalent to the value of the cash bail that this court sets for the accused person. The quite unusual bail ruling directed that the 10 million shillings cash bail be paid in four installments of 2.5 million shillings each for the next four months. Whereas from the factors that I have outlined above, I was convinced that there were compelling reasons to decline bond for the accused person. I will give that a second thought, and given the exceptional circumstances obtaining in this case, I will allow the accused person to be released on bond for purposes of taking care of the welfare of the victim. And with that, Kenyans did what they know best and took to social media, expressing mixed and varied opinions, with most of them lambasting the third dam of government, accusing it of failing to live up to its end of the bargain. From accusations of unfairness to defective decisions, the third arm of government was up in the trending list all night Monday and all the way to Tuesday. Others, on the other hand, called out the judiciary for seemingly breaking the innocent until proven guilty principle by ordering the bail cash to be used to offset the victim's hospital bill. But it did not end there. Nairobians on Wednesday woke up to banners mounted by unknown people on footbridges along major roads leading to the central business district, calling out the judiciary on its rulings perceived as selective. The banners mounted on major footbridges ask why Kenyan's criminal justice system favors the rich and condemns the poor. The new wave of criticism comes just days after the president challenged the judiciary to deliver convictions in corruption and other cases to prove that the country is headed in the right direction in the war against the vice. When we propose certain tax measures, you are the first ones to say injunction. That one, oh, yo. While accusing the David Maraga arm of government of perfecting the injunctions game. I today seek the indulgence of our judiciary. A week earlier, the president shamed the judiciary for failing to convict drug peddlers, saying Kenya's judiciary is not taking matters seriously. I think it is a shame on our country that we prosecuted a case against drug traffickers in our country and we couldn't get a prosecution. And within a year of them being arraigned in the United States, they have been jailed for no less than 25 years. 